uh, here there is dev.mysql document just click that link once you have clicked that link you will get this option mysql community downloads and uh, windows msi installer here actually this is a web installer online installer this is a local installer this is just 2.1 mb this is 353 mb you just go with the second option download okay just go with the second option download and once you have gone with the second option then you can see there is a button called no thanks just start my download just click this button i'm i'm repeating this procedure again okay you can see it is start the downloading i'll repeat the procedure again open this document and click this dev.mysql.com you will get this window and in this window go with the third, second uh, option download click the download you will get this window in this window just click no thanks just start my download and once you have clicked that then you will be getting this msi file in your laptop this is the step number 1 and once you have downloaded your msi file i am not downloading because i have already installed it so you have to click that msi file once you have clicked that msi file in the second step you will get this options so while talking about these options you can see that it is showing uh, choosing a setter type if it is showing a developer default click that if it is not showing developer default please click full okay developer default is there full is there if you are not seeing developer default please click full and then scroll down and then click execute so here there is going to be a lot of product which is going to be shown so in that list of product click execute so once you have clicked the execute uh, if you are getting any errors please don't cancel it please click try again try again try again if you are seeing any warnings or something and make sure your laptop is been connected with an internet and please click try again try again try again until you are seeing the tick marks here okay tick 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 which means that every product download or installation uh, download is complete so that's what the complete all the status where been installed it has been in complete 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 and after complete then click next in the product configuration please click next once you have clicked the next in the type and networking here again there is an option called next so don't change anything click next guys do you love this document okay because we have made this document in a clear way by putting up the screenshots and properly and if you really love this document you just post i love it in the uh, comment below okay so that's what i'm doing it here i'm clicking next and once you have clicked the next here you can see authentication method so in this authentication method uh, here i chosen this use strong password encryption click next and scroll down and now it is going to be asking for the password please give the password guys so please enter the password here and below you can repeat the password okay same password just put type it here and here why this user accounts are you can manage the different users and you can give the different permission roles and all now we are not going to do that so i here only here i just given just root password and repeat the password that's it and after that uh, window service in here in this window service here i'm going to click next i'm not going to change anything here i'm going to click next once i have clicked next here again apply configuration just click execute and finish like you'll be getting at this tick marks and click finish and also in here product configuration don't change you don't want to do anything click next and in the mysql router configuration you can just click finish you don't want to change anything right now and product configuration again click next again in the connect to server this is the very important step in the connect to server in username give root r o o t password what password you have to give here you need to give the same password which i have entered previously because at the previous step we have already entered the password right so same password you have to enter it below okay so same password you have to enter it here and then click check when you are clicking check you should see the connection succeeded message if you are not seeing this connection succeeded message which mean by that the password or your username might be wrong so please until you are getting connection succeeded please give the right username and password username is root and password is the password which you have already entered and once you have got this connection succeeded after clicking check button then you need to click next and then click up in the apply configuration click execute and click finish 
and then click finish that's it you will be getting your mysql workbench in your laptop so now once all the installation has been completed now type mysql in your search you will be getting this mysql workbench in your laptop just click that uh, mysql workbench in your laptop and ta -da! you will be getting this window once you have got this window here there is an option called local instance double click this local instance and here you will be getting one pop up in the password you have to give the same password which you have entered while installing so i am going to give my password and hit okay 3 2 1 tada you will be getting mysql workbench in your laptop 